Hello, once again, juniors. Uh, welcome back for week four of the second semester in your AVID class. Um, this week is uh, going to be more like what we typically do in a, an AVID class. Lots of little things, um, nothing too hard, but just little things to mainly do two things is our two goals our week is to keep you up on grades and make sure that you are doing well in all of your classes, which is, of course, key to your uh, going on to a four year university after high school. And the other thing is um, revising your personal statement. This will be the third time that we've revised that personal statement. Again, uh, we're gonna revise it as often as we need to to get it good, get it really, really, really good because I want you to get scholarship money. I want you to get into the college of your choice. And so we wanna make this thing as good as we can possibly do. Um, so let's roll into all these little things that we have going on this week. Uh, okay, so uh, personal statements and grades, that kind of sums up the week. Um, like I said, four things, but nothing that's going to be tons and tons of work. Um, last week was your first week for Cornell Notes questions and summary. Hopefully you got those questions and summary in over here where your name is at. Uh, I told the tutor to start grading those probably about Wednesday. So if you did not get them in, get them in as soon as you can. Uh, the tutor's gonna be start checking those on Wednesday. Um, this week, you'll be doing Cornell Notes again. This time, anything you learned this week coming up or any four classes. Again, if you do five or six classes, you will get extra credit for those one or two extra classes. Okay, so that's straightforward. All right, grade log. Okay, so last week I asked you to set up a grade log. I gave you a bunch of different options of where um, you could do that. You could save it as a file, uh, a Word document. You could download it as a PDF and print it out if you wanted to do that. You could recreate it on a piece of paper if you wanted to do that. I'm fine with any of those. It's wherever you want to keep it. Um, to remind you what it looks like, if you go back to week three, uh, week the grade log looks not like that. That's our class plans. Hopefully you got those in too. Looks like this. All right, so what are you going to do for week four? You're going to go to week four. Skip the first three weeks. You're going to go to week four. You're going to fill in the row for week four. So you got to fill in your classes. If you're taking a math class, what's its name? If it's English, if it's English 11th grade, then you just put English 11th grade. If it's AP English or English Lit, then make sure you put that. If you're taking a science, fill it in. If you're not, leave it blank for a second. Uh, you should all be taking U.S. history as juniors, so fill that in. Uh, and then your two electives, put those here. And if you have a third elective that's not science, then go back and fill in that third elective into the science. It's OK. It's OK if you have to fill it in and it's not a science class. Don't worry about that. Just want to make sure you have all six classes up here. So then you go to week four. And here you should put not only your letter grade, but very importantly, you should put your percentage as well. So put your letter grade and percent, letter grade, 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 percent. Calculate your GPA as it currently stands this week. And then here in the comments field, you put down anything that may have happened this week that you think could have affected you as a student. Maybe you had Wi-Fi issues. Maybe you um, were out sick. Maybe you had to deal with a family situation. Maybe um, you, know, you just had too much homework and you couldn't get to everything. Whatever you think might have affected your grades that week, just make a note of it right here. Just that way at the end of the quarter and the end of the semester, you can look back and go, oh yeah, that week. And then maybe that'll explain why the grades do what they do in the weeks to come. We'll see. But just make some notes if anything took place this week. Okay. So that's what you're doing for week four. Um, when you're done with that, take a picture or a snapshot, turn that into Jupiter so I know that you're staying on top of your grades. My belief is if I make you look at your grades every week, then you're gonna have you're gonna come to the realization either I'm doing a really good job or man I need to get on it, and so I try to make you look at your grades every week. But a lot of times people who don't do well in classes they try to avoid it. Like I don't know what grade I have. I don't want to look. I don't care. I don't want to know. Like no man, you gotta you gotta you gotta face the music sometimes. Okay, so that's the grade log. Now, in addition to that, for grades we're also doing an online tagger. If you click on this link, it will take you to this online form put in your first last name, first name. And then again, for all of your classes, just like you did on the grade log, put the letter grade and the percent. So I should see both of these, letter grade, percent, letter grade, percent. 
okay? Um, and then obviously AVID is one of your classes. For some reason, I didn't put that on your grade log. I don't know why. Um, and then your fifth and your sixth classes, whatever they may be, put the name of the class as well as the letter grade and the percent. So make sure you get all that in. The GPA you already calculated on your grade log. So you just write it again right here. Um, looking at your grade log, compare your GPA that you have now to your GPA that you had last week. Well, this is your first week, so you really don't have anything to compare it to. You can't compare it to how your grades were last semester, though. And you can say, all right, my grade's doing better this semester than I was last semester. Hopefully better or the same. Hopefully not worse. But if they are worse, be honest with yourself and explain why that trend is occurring. It's always important to explain why. Always important. Um, number 10, choose your situation. Okay, if you have A's and B's and nothing else, you can just click this box and you can stop filling out this form right now. If you have some C's but no F's, or you do have some D's or F's in some classes, you click the appropriate box and you have to keep going. And what are you answering? It says, look over your current grades, which classes do you need to improve? So which classes do you need to improve? List them. So it might be one class, might be two classes, just the ones that you don't have A's or B's in. Because if you want to go to college, you need A's or B's. I'm just going to be honest with you. Um, and then um, next time we do a tagger, what GPA would you like to have for all of your classes? What's realistic? You know, um, don't, don't, oh, yeah, I'm going to have a 4.5 in all my classes. And you have like a 2.0 this week. Yeah, that's not realistic. Let's do something like maybe a 3.1 or a 3.0 by next tagger. Because a tagger will be two weeks from now. So it's not like a long, long time. All right. And probably the most important question on here, for those classes that you're not doing well in, what are you specifically going to do? Do not tell me, I'm going to start doing my work. I'm going to start doing, paying attention. I'm going to start. No, man. Okay. If you're not going to class, give me something that's going to make sure that you go to class. I'm going to set my alarm at a different time. I'm going to have my buddy text me before I go to class. Um, if you're not getting assignments turned in, you know, I'm going to, you know, you can go to extremes. I'm going to have my mom check my work every week, make sure I get it done before I'm allowed to play video games or something, you know, or um, something. You have to come up with something to say, like, I'm just going to do better is like an overweight person just saying, well, I'm going to start losing weight. Like that doesn't help you. You need to be very specific. I'm going to start doing this very specific thing now from, from now on until you do that things will not change. I'm telling you. Okay. All right. Hit submit when you're done. It turns it into me uh, digitally. So you don't have to turn anything in. Once you hit submit, I'll have your name that you filled this thing out. Okay. All right. So grade log, tagger, Cornell notes. It sounds like a lot, but you're used to all three of those. They don't take very much time. And then the other thing is your personal statements. So you submitted personal statements to me, uh, not this last week, but the week before. I'm gonna print those out. In fact, I have them printed out. I'm going to go over them. I'm gonna give you feedback. I'll probably get those to you on Tuesday night. And then Wednesday, we'll have class together and we'll talk about them if you have any questions or anything that you're not sure what I'm asking about. If you did not submit personal statement drafts, Obviously, I've got nothing for you to revise, so then you got to revise the one before it. If you still haven't turned any personal statement in, what are you doing? What are you waiting for? This is number three. You haven't even done number one yet. Come on, let's get on it. Okay, so that's it. That's the four assignments. Sorry, it says assignment number three. Those are the four assignments for the week. Cornell Notes, Grade Log, and Tagger. Those will only take you like 15 minutes at the most and then revising your personal statement. And hopefully your personal statement is pretty good at this point, so your revisions will be relatively small. So that shouldn't take you too much time yet. All right, that is what you have going on for week four. Again, we'll check in on Monday, but we'll have our class and our talks together on Wednesday. So I'll see you Monday. Um, have a good one.